get out again. This is like 10 seconds later, not like, you know, half a week later kind of thing. Spider. So yes, Christmas, New Year's, it's just going to be crazy, isn't it? Now, nobody going out New Year's or nothing like that. I mean, is this tier four or five or fucking whatever it is? It's going to be all over the country. Um, can't go out, can't do nothing. Well, now they can't see me through this door, can they? Or can they? Must have like one way glass on it. Uh, yeah. See, yeah, them ones with them weird same sounds. There's a name for it. I can't think what it's called. I think it's like ASM or something. Or MS, not MSM. That's what's the name of Microsoft or something. I was out now. I'm sure you could find it out. Uh, weird names or weird kind of stuff like that and what have you. Weird kinks. I'm not kinky, mate, so... Mind you, I think everybody's got a bit of a kink. So... <sighs> kinky. Look hey, at me, going on. Oh, well, it's like this. Just sit you down, I'll tell you all about... I feel like Claire Rayner. <laughs> <laughs> Those of you that are old enough to know that. Wow, I loved a bit of Claire Rayner. Loved her. I actually like Trish as well. Was it Trish or Trish or whatever her name was? I liked her too. I couldn't get with her. What was the other one? Vanessa Feltz. I couldn't... Oh, no. No, we couldn't get with her at all. I think there's a... Th I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's kind of like... I, no, I don't know what it was. It wasn't what she looked like or nothing like that. There's just something to bad. I think, to me, in her at me head... I mean, like I said before, I'm working class, me through and through. I've got nothing against if you're upper class or whatnot. But you've got nothing in common with me. Nothing whatsoever. That's why I was saying before about Canal Street. In Manchester, by the way, this is where I am. Uh... I prefer the the people further up Canal Street, you know, because it's like, you know, not I mean not the ones down. I say further up. I'm not start, I'm not saying the name of the place, but it's got bees on it. If you know what I mean. <laughs> well, it has now. Not that end. I mean the other end. Uh, I prefer it further on up there because you get you get a better class of punter. If you ask me, you know they're not so hung up on. Crap that people l further on down are like, what you're wearing, who's this, have you been in the gym and all this, you know, a woman, uh, what's that thing now, gluten free and all this, you know, do you know, I, I'm getting there now, my kids, getting there, young, getting gluten free and all this, what the fuck, you know, I never had that when I was a kid, nothing like that at all. It's just, you know, you, know, you eat your bits and that, have you, you know, and all that kind of, we were cooking in lard, for fuck's sake. So now it's all like virgin olive oil and all this grape seed oil and all that kind of stuff. It's like, no, stuff that. Bit of white cap, shove that in there, it'll do pretty good. That's why everybody's got fucking dry skin and arthritis. They're not using proper stuff. So, not me, I moisturise, as you well know. But now they are. I, oh, yeah, look, this looks like the sun's coming up. Let me just press them. I say F3, F3, what direction's that? East. Oh, it'll come up over this side here. Morning has broken. There we go. Oh, spider. What? Look at that. Look. Would you look? Let me cry. Look at him riding that spider there. That was like that thing I was going on about before when I was there. With the German and the horse uniform and all that kind of stuff. Let me tell you this right now before I crack on. I used to go on this thing. Uh what was it called? Second Life. It was like an online kind of thing. And, uh, I, I, you know, you chat to people on there and what have you. I just went on it to have a little nosy, as you do. So I was, I used to chat to this guy on there. Uh, it was a French fella. And uh, he was dead good at it. He used to build things. And I used to think that was quite fascinating. I mean, there was nothing kind of like, you know, no anky panky and nothing like that going on. Uh, I'm not that fucking desperate. <laughs> the internet is free, you know. There's plenty of stuff to find down there to occupy your time. Uh, let me just get the sun a little bit higher. That See, it's burning them off there now. So anyway, he used to build all this stuff. And uh, he says to me this one time, he says, get to this because you could go to different realms. He says, just go in here and have a look at some of the stuff that they build and what have you. Is that all right then? 
And it was a, like a fantasy world kind of thing. You know, like, oh, Snow White and all that kind. It was dead good, the buildings and the castles and all this kind of stuff. Was that all very nice, very nice indeed. Because uh, I do like things like that. I like architecture. I can look at it, you know, I can appreciate a nice building. I can appreciate a fabulous erection. <laughs> um, so we said, go with this place there and have a little look. I was like, all right, then I'll have a little nose. So. So I was mooching round. I was there for a good couple of hours kind of thing. I was like, oh, that's lovely, that's lovely, what have you. Uh, I'm easily pleased, me, anyway. <laughs> I can hear something coming. Actually, let me just put all this in here. I can save it. That, uh, that, this is my expense. This is my treasures, this is. I've got to be careful. I don't want nothing creeping up on me. Footsteps, right. There's not, there's not. I'm going to have to explore these little islands over here and over here. We've done that one, haven't we? So I was there in this place. Uh, I've not noticed it, all the buildings and kind of thing. And people used to dress, it was the what's the name? Like, you know, my avatar, like, is as it is. You know, I was showing you way back when, when it's like the crown and the bee coat and looking like fucking Macklemore and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so, uh, but there was other stuff as well. There was them people that, like, dress up as, you know, like, creatures. Don't get that at all. But, you know, each to their own. I'll give you a little bit down there, even though you can't breathe. And, uh, one, two, I should have five here now. Have I got five? Yeah, five, that'll do. Now, I was there. Walking around, like I was saying, all these pits. Not everybody, you know, a lot of people dressed up there. There's, like, creatures and some were minotaurs and all these fluffy things with big tail, like foxes and all this kind of stuff. So, yeah, whatever, it don't kind of phase me it's not my thing so a clean pair of drawers and i'm happy you know what i mean <laughs> so i walked, walked was walking around this garden and there was a big building here like with all these rooms and what have you i thought oh let's have a little nose in here so i went in a few and it's like and like i say it was what people had designed in this game to show off what they could do and i went in this one room and off in the distance because I didn't know, like, on this thing here on Minecraft, you can zoom in, do you know what I mean? If you've got this, like, thing with it Optifine, it allows you to zoom in and do a few bits and pieces that, you know, you can't do on ordinary Minecraft. And, oh, let me count it. Let me just play it, plant that. I'll put that next to one of these because apparently it grows quicker if you got it next to stuff. I've got any food. Let me get that meat on the go there. I'll have a roast here for tea. And off in the corner of this room, and like I say, all these people, so a lot of these people, I'd say 50% were dressed up as stuff. I saw what I thought was a six-legged creature. I was like, oh, what's that now? What kind of creature is that? And my head was like battered. I was like, what the hell kind of creature? Six legs? There's no such a thing. Not on a, you know, mythology or something like that. I thought it was probably some Greek or Roman mythology or something. So I thought I'd go and have a look. So I went over to this, like, thing, this creature kind of thing. I was looking it up and down. Well, it was two people. One were German. I don't know what the other one was, because they never said that. So I couldn't tell you if it was man, woman. Uh, I know it was a beast. And it, this German fella turned around and says to me, uh, and I always say this is the gayest I've ever been in my life and the most English I've ever been in my life in this experience. This German fella says that. So... As I got close, like I said, it's just, I thought it was a six-legged creature. It wasn't. It were two people dressed up as horses in, like, the position, like, bang, 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 cat. You know, use your imagination. And this German guy looked up and he's like, says to me, he says, ooh, this, you want to join us? And me, quick as a lick, I'm like, oh, no, thank you, darling. I'm English. We don't do those kind of things. And off I went. <laughs> That was it. I told my mate at work about that. She said, that's so, that was so gay. I was like, well, what can you say? I was like, two English. You can never be too bloody English as far as I'm concerned. But oh, the cheek of it. I couldn't believe it. So do it. Like I said, I mean, I'm all for what you want to do. But, you know, oh, no. Getting me involved in that shite. Piss right off. I'm putting this meat on one and this bit of lamb. Will I beef later? Oh, look, I forgot about this. I've got to get some more coal. That's it there, get that in there, that there, get my twigs down here. So I cut, 
couldn't believe it. Inviting me into like a bit of rumpy pumpy with dressed up as horses. I wouldn't know what to do. It's just that. I remember when I first came on the scene. And people were going on about bears and cubs and otters and all this kind of stuff. I thought it would be seality. <laughs> so what's going on? Because you know, I mean, I don't know about you. I know when I first came out, I thought I knew everything. I was 16. Uh, thought I knew it all. Didn't know fuck all. <laughs> Not things, you know. Uh, now I'm older and wiser. So uh, I know what I know and that's it. I know what I like and what I don't like. Oh, look at that sheep over there. Come on, Nelly. <laughs> And up here, as them cows grew up now, because if they grew up, I might be able to breed them again. Mm. Mm. Four, one, two, three, four. But no, it's just a bit. The gay scene nowadays is crazy. Absolutely crazy. I mean, COVID's kind of knocked it on the edge. I saw a documentary ages, ages ago. Now, this was the all seriousness before my time, way before. Well, not way before my time, but before my time. I don't even think I was born. It was about fan dancers in San Francisco. You know, that gay guys that dance around with these massive... Oh, it was so nice. Really, really nice. Uh, them twizzling them up in the air and all kind of round and everything kind of stuff. I think it was nice. I think it was kind of like mid-60s, late-60s or something like that. I can't remember. But it's, uh, it's on YouTube somewhere if you have a little nosy. No, nope, gay scene's changed now. Changed. I don't know if I like it anymore. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> I'm choking. It was that Snickers I had earlier on. Yeah, don't know if I like the gay scene anymore. It doesn't seem as friendly. Well, no, I tell a lie. Do you know some of the friendliest people I've ever met? Uh Ah, the uh, the bears, cubs, and all that. <laughs> I'm not one myself, do you know what I mean? I'm a bit, I've got grown a beard, and that's like I say, that was pure laziness. I grew that bloody thing. Uh, the nicest people you can know, and some some of them are so good cooks, wonderful cooks. I'm telling you. See, I always say, and this this is a lesson to learn by never trust a skinny cook. I just know. Cannot abide them. Skinny cook. They don't sample their own fucking horses. Piss off. Uh, no, I prefer a, cook, a well-built cook. They know the food. They've sampled it. They, you know, they're all right. But like I say, uh, nicest people I've ever met. Uh, your bears, your cubs and your otters. Some leather queens as well. Some of them can be a bit snarky, do you know what I mean? Oh, they're hitting each other. That's good. You just do that. You eat each other and I'll just pick off the bones. See, that's what I was saying before. Use your environment to your advantage. That's three. Oh yeah, you're supposed to be getting each other, not me, you buggers. Because... <laughs> oh, excuse me. Because they cook proper, don't they? They know how to cook. Not like now with the lettuce leaf and all that kind of stuff. I can't, you know, with that, don't get me wrong, I do. You know, a nice, nice little fancy meal every now and again. It's quite nice, you know what I mean? But, you know, sometimes you can't just beat a good plate of egg and chips. Nice pie or something. Egg and chips, the meal of champions, that is, isn't it? do like a nice bit of egg and chips i do believe i read somewhere or heard somewhere it's when there which i don't like uh them nannies that do prince william and what have you they were saying that they actually like fish finger and chips i thought oh, nice one i like a bit of fish finger and chips as well got something common with the girl yes but i tell you what's oh, oh oh yes look at that over there there's a jungle Junkers are really good. You get your bamboo and you like your melons and all this over here. And you get them koala bears. It's not koala bears. What they called? Pan? Uh, is it pandas? Panda bears. But I'm gonna have to sit. I'm gonna go back to my little house. And uh, I could do with making a boat, couldn't I? I get, have I got a boat? I must have. I never know if you want to get over there. 
Yeah, I can't abide these people that, you know, like these kiss and tell kind of, Like him, that fucking Paul Burrell. Oh, we did my head in. Oh, Princess Diana says I was a rock. I don't think so, love. Know your place, you know what I mean? Like I say, I mean, I meet a lot of people, in my, you know, in my job and what have you. Not famous, not so many, you know, you know, important people kind of. Well, you, you, you get what I mean, do you know what I mean? Uh, people of note. There you go. And uh, don't face me at all, do you know? However, uh, I know my place. <laughs> I don't mean that in the sense of I'm kowtowing, you know, capping ants and all that crap. I don't think so. I ain't bending over for you. You gotta pay me first, love. <laughs> uh, whoa, here we go. I was making another bed, wasn't I? To go over to that. No, boat. Did I have a boat? Yeah, it is. I wouldn't keep these up here because I don't need these where I'm going. Uh I'm under no delusions of grandeur and none of that kind of thing. Like I says, I mean, working class, there you go, that's me. But then you get these people, like him, that poor Burrell. I mean, you're working class, you, you work for the royal family, there you go. You're not her best mate, you know, <laughs> so don't even think you are. She's nothing to you. But he was there, oh, she says I was a rock. Hey, you fuck, weren't you twat? Rock me ass. <laughs> Because like I say, I mean, I meet quite a few people. I have a laugh and a joke with some famous people. But I'm not their friend. They're never going to come to my house. They're never going to send me a Christmas card. You know, all that kind of stuff. I, I, I can... I'm fine with that. It don't bother me in the slightest, you know what I mean? Uh, I think that's why they talk to me. Cause they're not impressed me at all. Whereas the guy that I work with, oh, God, he gets a bloody hard on for it. Loves it. You know, not literally, but you know what I mean. Uh, oh, such and such a body's coming in. Oh, all this kind of... Oh, so fuck off. I'll be asked. Have they made me a broom? No, fuck off. Then I don't want to know. So, what's that thing there? Is that like a... What's this? Oh. Looks like a climbing, a climbing frame, doesn't it? Oh, I think I can see melons over there. Let me just go over here. What's this all about here? Crosses, or is it a church? Oh no, look, it's the shipwreck. Oh shit, yeah, I forgot about them. So, what we're actually looking for in here now is bamboo and melons. There's a melon up there, I think. Yeah, it is. Oh, and there's a bit of bamboo next to it because the melon you get good seeds, you can grow loads of them, you know, they're, they're all right, but not as good as a bit of beef. So, yeah, he's all kind of. Oh, God, Oh, it's just wonderful and such and such a body's coming in and I met this and he, I just thought, uh, what the fuck? What you going on with yourself, Bill? Who cares? No, they don't pay my bills, do they? No, no, if I meet them, I meet them. Because I remember one time ages ago. Uh, now, I don't know who it was because I've not watched, let me tell you before we crack on with this story, I've not watched this show, Corey, for years, absolutely years. The last time I watched that, and I think it, you know, God love her, I think she's dead now. Uh, Deidre Rashid. You remember she was knocking that fella off? Rashid, I think that was his name. I don't know what his name. And he died down the canal. And now I heard that headline, I thought, oh, you know where he's been, don't you? <laughs> down that canal. I think they blocked that up now, haven't they? Uh, so that was the last time I watched it. I'm going to tell you a story then about that canal, but I'll save that for another time. Just remind me, liquid lunch. Just That's all I'm saying. <laughs> and uh, so that was the last time I watched it. So anyway, I was at, uh, where was I now? I can't think where I was. But I was with a friend of mine, and uh, it was a bar. Was it on Canal Street, or was it like Yates or somewhere like that? I can't remember, if I'm honest. And uh, so we was in this bar having a drink. She's a big butch lesbian, so she don't give a fuck who it is, do you know what I mean? And this per however, she loves Coronation Street. Why is it with lesbians in Coronation Street? I don't understand it at all. It's like, fucking, is it a someone written rule or something? You can't be a lesbian unless you watch Cory. So she was there. <laughs> we was there having a drink and what have you. Oh, I best, not, I best go the way I came out now because I'll get lost. <laughs> And she says, uh, oh, there's such and such a body there. I was like, who is it? She says, uh, he plays somebody on Coronation Street. I was like, oh, right. I couldn't tell you it was like a six. I just, years, 
since I watched Coronation Street. I was like, oh, right. So anyway, I was telling my sister. Well, my sister was like, did you get his autograph? I was like, no, why? She's like, well, you could have got it me. You know, I love him and all. I was like, I do not know nothing. She says, well, he's famous. So I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck if he's famous or not. There's very few people I'd wet myself for. You know, if I met him, I would go giddy over. I so, I'm going to swim back here now to this house. Right, I'm just going to pause this a second. I'll make another brew and I'll come back. Right, see you in a bit.